Okay, hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I don't even know how to start this video, but my mom just called me about three hours ago and one of her friends is, or has a golden retriever puppy that they took in, um, it was a surprise I guess that their adult children gave to them for Christmas. I don't really know the whole story, but they decided that they were not gonna be able to keep him just because of like the lifestyle that they live and whatnot, they would not be able to take care of him the way he deserves to be taken care of so she called and she was like okay we're really interested in him and they told her unfortunately um, we have found another home for him and so obviously we know that whatever is meant to be will be and about 30 minutes later she got a call that the family that was supposed to take him is not going to be able to anymore and that he is ours I literally don't even know that probably sounded all over the place like I am kind of stuttering and whatnot because I just am in total shock that in like the next hour I'm going to be a puppy mom like I just cannot believe it. I have wanted this for so so long and I've just been like, you know, like it's not the right time It's not the right time Whenever it's supposed to work out it will happen and now it is and I'm so so excited to be able to meet him and They said he is just the sweetest most lovable little guy ever and he just needs a really good home um, and I'm so happy that I technically am like rescuing him from um, if they were not going to be able to find a new home for him, obviously he would have to go elsewhere And so I am just like so excited to meet him I wasn't really gonna film any of this, but I was like, you know what like years down the road I'm gonna wish that I had this so yeah, um, I am gonna go get in the car and Pick him up and I will check in with you guys in a little while. I guess <laughs> okay. Excuse my no makeup face What a crazy last two days it has been if you can hear some chewing in the back that is because uh, Mr. Brady is home safe and sound with me. He is seriously the cutest thing ever. I have gotten not a lot of sleep But you know what? He'll be worth it. He is worth it. So I just have to show you him. He's literally the cutest thing ever Big fan of kibble over here. We're big fans of kibble You cannot tell me that this is not the most perfect little face you have ever seen <laughs> I'm so in love with you. Look at your little face. Hi. Good morning. You finally decided to wake up, huh? He just took like a two hour nap. He was so pooped after today. And he probably will go right back to sleep after we go outside. Honestly, it's not been as bad as I thought um, in regards to like him going to the bathroom. We've had a couple accidents here and there, but I think like if I just keep consistent with it, he'll be fine. And yeah, he's just like the cutest and sweetest little thing ever. I love his little paws. They're just like perfect. <laughs> Back to sleep we go. <laughs> My little Christmas puppy. My little Christmas puppy. <laughs> we got him this sweater. Uh, my brother's girlfriend. Seriously. <coughs> Cries at everything. We'll be back. Okay, so we are back. It is a little later now. We tried to go for a little potty break, but where did he go? This is what always happens. I always lose him. Oh, there you are. Hi. There we go. <laughs> um, we went for a little potty break. He wasn't able to go, so I mean, we're just going to have to try again in an hour. Um, he's done pretty good. We've had quite a few accidents obviously, but I mean he's just I'm still trying to learn his cues of when he needs to go So other than that, he's such a good boy. He's seriously so so sweet. So so sweet. Yes, you're so sweet getting used to the nipping thing. It's not my favorite, but Trying to teach him that it's not very nice, but he's only eight weeks. It'll take some time for sure. So we're going to check in later on. <laughs> okay guys, don't mind my crazy face. Literally being a dog mom, I don't even do my makeup anymore or try because I literally get no sleep. But I have to tell you and just show you how cute this little one is. Today is Monday, so it's been about five days since I got him. He is just really Love his little face, and I just can't get enough of him. <laughs> okay. Hey. 
We love our rope. That's probably one of our favorite toys. It's one of our favorite toys. And Mr. Gingerbread Man. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The reality of having a puppy. They chew and chew and chew and chew. Say, all I do is chew, 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 no matter what. Yep, that's Brady. Yep, that's Brady. <laughs> I just can't get enough of him. He's so cute. Oh, okay. Say hi to the vlog. Say hi. <laughs> My goodness. All right. Well, we are chewing the cord, so I think we are going to let you guys go. Okay, so I also thought I would show you guys some of the things that I have learned in my first week since having him. So last night was the first night that I had the crate for him and it was tough at first, not gonna lie. The first 30 minutes were really rough. All he did was cry and yelp, but I slept next to the crate. Even though I wasn't the most comfortable, he slept so much better being confined to one area. I put this blanket over the top of the crate because I heard that that kind of helps usually, helping them feel like more secure and whatnot, and I do really think it helped. Um, I only had him sleep in there. We didn't go to bed until like two. So he slept in there from like two, every two hours we'd go out to the bathroom. And then at nine, I brought him into my bed just because he did so well. And so I was just like, you know what? Like he made it the majority of the night. I'll let him come snuggle with me. And I don't know, the crate, like I said, it was hard at first. And I know the next few nights are gonna be challenging most likely, but he it did so well once he like got acclimated to it. And I put treats in there so he knows it's a good place to be. We have toys in there. See, he's already, he kind of goes in and out of it. And then I have like this little bed in there. I obviously lined the whole thing with puppy pads just in case. But yeah, I kind of hid treats throughout the bed and like underneath the puppy pads for him to be able to like play in. And we're getting used to it, huh? We are. It's definitely gonna be an adjustment, like I said, but I think once he does start to realize it's his own space, he will be better with it. So we are just in such a playing mood right now, huh? Get all that energy out now before nighttime. Yeah, get all that energy out, Mr. Brady. What are we doing? Are we playing with mommy's ornaments? These are another two of our favorite toys, Mr. Moosey. And we have a little hedgehog in this blanket. As you can see, we kind of have a red, black, and white theme going for stuff for him. I think just because of <laughs> when he was born in Christmas time. It goes well, huh? <laughs> oh, I just keep getting these funny videos of you. I just keep getting these funny videos of you. We love to chew on everything that isn't our own toys. First it was the ornaments. Now it's mommy's coffee table. Luckily it's metal, so it's, it's really fine. I really don't care that much. I probably will care in a few days, but, or even a few months when you get a little bit bigger, but it's fine for now. Oh, how about the bar stools? That too. We love to chew on everything, huh? <laughs> oh my goodness. We've also got puppy pads throughout the entire apartment just because we never know where you are going to pee. We never know. I feel like he will literally just be walking and then pee. Like he doesn't even do like a sniffing thing so I can tell, I mean he is sniffing right now, but he'll sniff at the most random times when he doesn't have to go. So then when I think he does have to go, he's not going. And then when he does go, I'm not expecting it. So I'm still, like I said, Learning his cues, it's only been like five, six days or something since I got him, so we'll learn. I also bought a little, let's see, let me bring it out here. I had to move my little mat because I bought this little thing of grass, but he like refuses to pee on it. He will not pee on it. So I don't know if I need to buy some spray to like attract him to like want to pee on it or not. I don't really know. It's just at three o'clock in the morning. I don't love to walk all the way down. Oh, please do not do that. I'm not trying to have a heart attack today. Come back inside, come on. So yeah, I'm still kind of learning. Is he gonna go? Oh, he found the treats. I did put treats on there so that he could like know that it's a good place to be, but I'm still trying to figure out how to get him to pee on this little pee pad um, because it's just gonna be easier at nighttime if I can have him do this instead of having to walk all the way downstairs every single time. So if you have any tips on how to train your puppy to pee on the little pee pad that you have for your apartment, 
let me know because I could use all the tips. Honestly, any tips that you have for a new puppy, I would love to hear them. I never grew up with a dog, so I definitely feel like I am learning this whole new role and it's going to be definitely a learning curve. So, all right, I will check in with you guys maybe in a little while. Okay, it is a little while later now. Excuse the mess here. I thought I would show you guys the food that I've been feeding him. I've heard great things about this Simply Nourish. I just got the puppy um, chicken flavored one, chicken and brown rice actually. I'll probably get him a different one every time we go and like every time I run out. But yeah, I heard really good things about this one. He is currently eating dinner. That's why I thought I would show you guys. And I am so proud of him. We did not have a single accident during the daytime today. We did so good. I took him out less often. I went every three hours instead of every two, and I think he did like so much better. So we're gonna try that for tonight, see how it goes. And yeah, I'm so proud of you. You did so good. We are figuring each other out, slowly but surely. <laughs> okay, ready? You ready? <gasps> Go get it. <gasps> Go get it, Brady. Go get it. Now you want to be lazy because I turned the camera on. That's why. Of course. Go get it. Come on. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Ready? Go get it. Ready? <gasps> go get it. Do we have a sleepy puppy now? Are you a sleepy puppy? <laughs> oh my goodness. Those eyes are getting heavier and heavier and heavier. Oh my goodness, Brady. You're the best. You're the best. You're the best. Well, if you were looking for your puppy fever fix, here it is. little features. I know I'm gonna want all this content one day, so so sorry. If this is bothering you, you can definitely just click out of this video, but I just I have to cherish this moment while he's still this little, because I know it does not last forever and I know it goes so fast. <laughs> oh, man. I miss you when you sleep. <laughs> what are we doing? Say bye to the vlog. Or we're just gonna eat mom's ornaments. That's cool too. That's cool. All right, we'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Oh my God. I don't even need to buy toys. You're entertained by this. <laughs>